Good morning from Nessie Bar, Old Town, Bulgaria. So yesterday we ended our little all-inclusive mini-series and got the short taxi from Pomeroy to Nessie Bar. It took about 10, 15 minutes, I'd say, but now we are here, we are staying at Family Hotel Panorama Blue, right on the, the marina. This place looks beautiful. I cannot wait to explore it. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site town. It was actually twinned with Sozopol, but I'm not sure if it is anymore. It sort of gives off similar Similar vibes, I would say, to Sozopol, um, but I'm excited to walk around the old town today, try out some foods, and find out some history of this. It's actually an island. It's now a peninsula. They've put a bridge across so people can drive onto it, but this was previously an island. We're living island life. Need to appreciate these balcony views. We have got the marina there, and somewhere just over there is the infamous sunny beach. Don't think we're coming to Bulgaria without at least one night out in the Ibiza of the Black Sea, but we're gonna run down now. We're actually really lucky. They're putting on a nice little breakfast for us and then we can get out and explore this old town. Wow, it is boiling hot sunshine out here this morning, but how gorgeous is the outside of our hotel? So at Panorama Blue, we actually have a breakfast as well. So we are just having our coffee. Look at this, ready? How cute is that? It's like the cutest thing you've ever seen. We've got the marina right there. And as I said, the sun is shining. We've got two omelets on the way. And I couldn't think of anywhere better to sit this morning than watching the boats go out on the marina in the sunshine. but there is something about a Bulgarian cheese omelette that is just so good. So loved it, Panorama Blue. But we are walking um, actually towards the new town because as Matt explained at the beginning, this is actually an island as you can see behind me and there is a road leading to it now. So we are walking towards the new town because there is a very famous sort of centerpiece of Nestle Bar which is the old windmill. Now actually there's not a lot of history on the windmill because they just don't have anything. There's nothing in the history books. They don't know when really it dates back to. They sort of say the 16th, 17th, 18th century. There's loads of different centuries and it's a very rough sort of piece of architecture, I suppose you could say, a rough wooden windmill because it's meant to represent, as you can tell by my hair, the wind on the Black Sea coast. So I'm assuming the windmill was used obviously to create electricity for whatever, for the city, for the, the island, and it would be represented in its rough sort of style but it is literally the centerpiece of the old town because you see it before you even reach the walls of the ancient city. This is I would say if you're going to do a tour of the Nessie Bar old town this is where you want to start. This is the bridge that made it a peninsula. I have no idea when it was built. You've got the new town behind but a new town's a new town right. You've been to other cities across Bulgaria. The new town is basically that. You've got a couple of beaches outside which we're probably not going to go to because we're heading to Sunny Beach but this is this is like the mascot. Everyone says this is the mascot of Nessie Bar. It's the first you're going to see the bridge, the old windmill, and then the old town behind you. It's a pretty impressive windmill. It's kind of random though, right? It's so like, random. It's just like an, an old windmill sitting on a bridge. It's just the weirdest place, for, I think, for a it windmill, is, right? don't you? I, I, I like the road, but I think it would have been much cooler if they didn't build the road and kept it as an island. You have to get a boat to and from it. approach the Nessie Bar Old Town across the new bridge you will see the old fortress wall. This is actually the western fortress wall as you come past the little paying booth and everything. New meets old it really is um, but this actually dates back to the third and fourth century before even the Romans got here back in like the Byzantine period I believe um, and a lot of it is unfortunately under sea. You can actually see looking at it it's all different like styles of this fortress wall because it has been reconstructed several times in history. Um, it's very impressive. It's a very impressive way to enter the old town. You go through the old fortress walls. It's a shame that it's not all here today. 
but it really is the perfect, it is the perfect entrance. It feels like Sozopal times 100 maybe, it's like amazing old town but there's just so much going on and just so much history like I feel like throughout Bulgaria we've been really surprised about how much history there is. The amount of history yeah it's, it definitely has surprised me you always think of ancient Rome or ancient Greece. You don't think of how much history that Bulgaria has that Who they still of, have Do you think well. of ancient Nessie Bar? Like any old town as soon as you get in we've got bars, restaurants, souvenir shops. Um, I'm actually really pleased to see that the restaurants are open. We're a little bit skeptical coming here, being that in Sozopol, most were actually closed, but so far walking in here, it looks like most are open, the sun's out, tourists are here. I'm hearing a few accents from other countries, not just Bulgarian, which is really nice. Super short walk around the old town. We've made it to the Saint Sophia Church again, dating back to the same sort of time around the fifth, sixth century, and it's actually really unique. We found online that they said that Neseva has the most churches per capita. I'm not sure if it was in Europe, maybe in the world. There's just around 11 churches on this tiny island. This is one of them, and as you can see, there is no roof. It's literally just the walls and the structure. It is basically one of the main center points here in the old town, and all the streets come off of it. But I mean, it's pretty impressive that this much has managed to be preserved and maybe not even touched up for that many years. I think with so many churches on this small, tiny, old town island, I think personally walking around this is my favorite. I think that it hasn't been as restored. It's probably been ruined more in the past. Um, it just gives it that charm, that open air basilica feel. Um, also, you're going to find all these 17th and 19th century old traditional houses. They're really cool. You've got quite a lot of these in Sozopol as well, wooden structures, and people still live here. I think there's 13,000 people that still live on this incredible little old town. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. This is a new beer. We have Ariana. I've never tried that before. I actually was just about to find out where that was from, but we have come into the Old Sailor, which actually pops up as one Number of the one. Top recommended. I think it's recommended for seafood, hence the name. Old hence Sailor. us getting pizza. <laughs> yeah, I thought we weren't going to say that. <laughs> Can we pretend it's a seafood pizza? I love the location though, it's just it's so cute. It's actually right next to the basilica that we just went to, the Church of St. Sophia, you've got all the old houses around us, I think it is just a really nice location. Back to our old favourites of pizza and beer, you really can't go wrong with pizza and a beer on a hot day like today. We've wandered down a little bit further and this is the old Bizarre Street which looks a little bit empty Bizarre Street today. There's a couple of little cells in there but also off the other streets there's actually um. There's quite a few, like um, not like your typical bazaar, you know, your, you've got your real Adidas and stuff like that in some of the shops. Some of the stuff looks actually quite good quality. But one thing I've noticed about Nessie Bar, which I really don't like, is that their seagulls here seem to have anger management problems. They are massive as well. They're more like dinosaurs and they seem to want to attack the drone every time I try and get a nice shot. Honestly, the map on my phone does not show everything properly because we have found so many different roads that haven't come up on maps and we found so many different things that don't show up. For example, you have behind me here, one of the 11 churches and also some more ruins. There is just an unbelievable amount of ruins here in Bulgaria. And I will say it again, it keeps surprising me. This dates back to God knows what century it's in 
it's in Roman numbers and I have no idea what that is, but they were discovered back in the 70s and then back in 1980, 1998 and 2001. So they're very, very new. Nothing's been done with them. It's just got a huge bar around it, but it is cool that there's so much here. I just love this old town. Cheers. Cheers again. Half pint this time. We, this is so weird. Mm -hmm, we said we weren't going to get another beer, but we were wandering around the Nessie Bar. Oh, can you hear them? They're so evil. They're horrible. They are so evil. I really wanted to get some. Like, I managed to get a few drone shots earlier. I wanted to get more from the back side. The back side. From the back side <laughs> of uh, of the island because it, it, it's really nice. It's got like, a small little beach here, but they're just so evil. We saw evil. another guy trying to get his drone up um, earlier, and they and actually were swooping it. for it. Horrible. It These are like the most horrible. Go away. And they're the horrible biggest seagulls, seagulls I've ever seen. Uh -huh. But we've made it onto a boat. Yeah, this is so cool. I don't actually know what it's called. I think it's called the old ship. It's called the old ship. So we were walking along, along the front here. There's like a few like bars and restaurants up the top, but they just look like any bar and restaurant on the sea. We spotted this old boat sitting it's here that's been restored, turned into an amazing little restaurant. We're right on the sea, you can hear the waves crashing. You can see the seagulls attacking <laughs> and pooing everywhere. The half pint it is. I said I wouldn't have one more, but I see this boat. It's only I, little. I couldn't resist. Oh my God, look, they are oh evil. Oh my God. The lady They are the most evil. Taking out the like... rubbish and they have, oh my. Oh my God. God. They, they are evil. I'm not leaving this They're boat. They're horrible. Morning. Thank you. Well, that looks a bit funny, that. It isn't the best. It is not the best. It's a three in one. <laughs> we actually came back last night and had a very early night. Neither of us have been feeling too great the last day or two, which is a shame because. Travel's getting on top of us. Yeah, I think it is. Nessie White is honestly unbelievable. It's so beautiful. We had great weather and it was actually busy considering it was really the situation. Busy. We said it was like Sozopol on steroids, right? As, yeah, I definitely think it is. But I think like here is definitely more picturesque. I mean, you've got Sunny Beach over there. Where you we're heading today. The High five. Are you feeling better? Because I'm ready for beers. I think I'll be feeling better later. And that's going to definitely be how I'm feeling later. But we need to show you the room because we had an early night I didn't get to show you. So we're standing on our massive terrace. You do have to dodge the seagulls, but that's oh God, yes. like It's like you've done well if you don't get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially here. And you have this absolutely massive space. Like you just wouldn't expect this. The balcony's here. as big as the room. Yeah, I think it really is. And then, the mess. excuse the mess because I am in the middle of packing everything away. Um, so you have wardrobe, you've got your fridge, you've got um, a kettle, a TV, the lovely bed that I've spent most of my time in. And it's actually very, very spacious and everything that you need. Obviously you have the bathroom, the shower is really, really big. For a smaller bathroom, the shower is so good. But yeah, this is literally where we're staying here in Panorama Blue, in Nessie Bar. Right in the old, it's perfect location really Perfect is. location, you're on the marina. The only thing is the seagulls, but as we've said, we absolutely hate the seagulls. Um, but we are leaving Nessie Bar this morning, taking the really long trip. Oh my God, the really Sunny long Beach. trip, hold on. Hold on, let me see if I can see it. I've been very excited to head just over here, just here somewhere for a complete blowout. It's actually a complete contrast. You've got Ibiza over the Black Sea over there. Then you've got a quaint little old town with nice little restaurants, very chilled out to the madness of Sunny Beach. We'll see you in the madness. Probably three or four beers, cocktails, <laughs> shots deep in the crazy Sunny Beach. Let's hope it's crazy. Let's hope it's some tourists. 